Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Kimberly, if you're new here, and today we are going to be learning how to pray the rosary. Today's video is going to be a very simple overview of how to pray the rosary, so it's really great for beginners or someone who's never prayed the rosary before. So to start off, I just want to mention two important facts about the rosary. First one being that you do not have to pray the rosary in order to be considered Catholic. There is a bit of a misconception, I think, for a lot of us who are Catholics that we need to be praying it every single day. And if we're not, that we're doing something horribly wrong. <laughs> and while the rosary is important, it's a really great thing to have in your life, great tool for your faith. It is not a requirement to pray the rosary in order to be considered Catholic. Also, if you are not a Catholic and you want to pray the rosary, you are totally welcome to do that. If you're feeling called to pray the rosary, then go for it. I think it's great that you want to do that and you should not feel like you have to be Catholic in order to pray it. Mary loves all of us. Really quick, I just want to read a quote from Pope Pius. Oh my goodness, I don't know the Roman numeral. Hold on. I should know that. That's the 11th. Is that how you say it, Pope Pius the 11th? I'm going to assume that's how I say it. I really hope that's right. Okay. The rosary is a powerful weapon to put the demons to flight and to keep oneself from sin. If you desire peace in your hearts, in your homes, and in your country, assemble each evening to recite the rosary. Let not even one day pass without saying it, no matter how burdened you may be with cares and labors. So I think it's important to note that praying the rosary for a lot of us is a peaceful experience. It's something that brings peace into our day and allows us to meditate on Jesus' life on earth and what he went through. As Pope Pius XI mentioned in the quote, it's also a weapon, which may sound a little strange if you're new to this, but the rosary is truly a weapon against Satan and his demons. We are calling on Mary when we pray the rosary. We are not praying to her, which is a huge um, thing I want to point out. We're not praying to Mary, but we are calling for her intercession on our behalf. We are calling her to intercede to her son Jesus and seeking his protection. The ultimate goal is for Mary to intercede on our behalf and to be a messenger to Jesus for us. Mary is a very powerful intercessor for us because she was able to resist all temptation for sin. Satan and his demons fear Mary because of her ability to resist temptation and sin. So it's very powerful having the Blessed Mother on our side. We're not worshiping her. We honor Mary, we love her, and we recognize her as our mother, but ultimately we want her to relay our messages, our desires, our needs to Jesus, her son. Her son, Jesus, is not going to turn away from her. He's not going to turn down his mother. A great way to pray for your loved ones who are in need, maybe they're sick, maybe they're hurting. Praying a rosary for them is such a powerful prayer. Just dedicate even a decade to them. If you don't have time to pray a whole rosary, just a decade can help immensely. So I think it's such a wonderful tool. I know I've personally used it a lot to pray for family who are needing prayers. So now that we've learned just a little bit about the rosary, I want to keep this video fairly short. So we are going to go ahead and get into how you actually pray the rosary. So first I want to go over the basic structure of the rosary and what it includes. So I have a rosary here with me today and we are going to always, whenever we're praying the rosary, we start with the crucifix. So down here is the crucifix. So we work our way up towards the center, which is this part right here. So we work our way up and each bead is a different prayer that you say. So it's essentially keeping yourself organized as you go. And then you work your way around the rosary up top. So the the bottom portion, we have the crucifix, an Our Father bead, three Hail Mary beads in the center. We have another Our Father bead, and then we have the rosary center. The upper part is where the decades of the rosary are. And so each of these beads is a Hail Mary, and then there's four Our Father beads up top. 
And essentially you'll just work your way around this upper portion of the rosary. So when we're praying the rosary on each of the Our Father beads, which are these blue ones that you can see on my rosary, we recite a different mystery, a different event that happened in Jesus' life. So we would have a total of five mysteries for the entire rosary that we would recite. Now there are four different variations of the mysteries that we rotate between depending on what day of the week it is. So for example, on Mondays and Saturdays, we would recite the joyful mysteries. So those five mysteries would be the Annunciation, the Visitation, the Birth of Our Lord, Presentation in the Temple, and the Finding of Jesus in the Temple. So we would go through and we would announce each of those mysteries on each Our Father bead. So the different sets of mysteries would be the Sorrowful Mysteries, the Luminous Mysteries, the Glorious Mysteries, and the Joyful Mysteries. And based on the day of the week, you would be praying a certain set of mysteries. So hopefully that made sense. Now I want to do a practice Hail Mary with you because that is one of the main prayers that you are going to be reciting while you are praying the rosary. We say it a total of 53 times, so it's, it's a good one to get memorized. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and say Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So that is how you say a Hail Mary. Don't worry if you don't have that memorized yet, it will come with time. Let's get into how you actually pray the rosary. We always start out at the crucifix. So after you do the sign of the cross, while holding the crucifix, we recite the Apostles' Creed. After you recite the Apostles' Creed, we go to the first Our Father bead, which is this blue bead here, and we say an Our Father. Next, we're gonna go to these three beads here, and we're gonna say Hail Mary for each bead, so three Hail Marys. Then after we recite three Hail Marys, we are going to say a Glory Be, Glory Be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Then we are going to go to this Our Father be just under the center and we are going to announce the first mystery. So depending on what day of the week it is, you will have to look at what the mysteries are for that day. And then say an Our Father and then we begin the upper part of the rosary. After the Our Father, we are going to go to our first decade. We're going to hold that first bead. I tend to hold in my hand like this, you can kind of see I have it like under my thumb. And we're going to say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And then we go to the next bead and say another Hail Mary. And you can just kind of, you'll get, you'll get it down eventually, like the motion of just moving from bead to bead. So after you've said all 10 Hail Marys and you're done with your first decade, you're going to say a glory be. And some people will say an oh my Jesus prayer next, which was added by Our Lady of Fatima. She requested us to say that while praying the rosary. I know that at mass, we, we all tend to say the oh my Jesus prayer. So I've just, I've gotten a habit of saying it. So usually I'll finish the decade, all the Hail Marys say a glory be, saying oh my Jesus. And then after you say the oh my Jesus prayer, you will announce the next mysteries and then say an Our Father. After you say the Our Father, you would say 10 Hail Marys. And I want to point out that while you are saying the Hail Marys, you should be meditating on the mystery that you just announced. So that should be the forefront of your mind. You should be thinking about that, thinking about that event and what happened and meditating on it while you say the 10 Hail Marys. And just like the last decade, once we're done saying those 10 Hail Marys, we would say a glory be and oh my Jesus. And then you would announce the third mystery. And then you would say in our father and pray all 10 Hail Marys next. So you just work your way all the way around 
the upper part of the rosary. Okay, and then once you've reached your last Hail Mary, you are going to recite the Hail Holy Queen prayer. And then we're gonna end with a sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And then you're done reciting the rosary. So that was just a quick overview on how to pray the rosary. I am going to include a resource down below in the description that you can click on and it will take you to our website where I've built an entire resource for you on how to pray the rosary. It's going to have all the prayers that you need listed out for you. And it's going to have all the different mysteries and what day of the week to pray them. I hope that is helpful for you. Feel free to use it as much as needed until you have it down. I know at first I needed to read the prayers um, before I could really memorize them. I also plan on making a couple Pray the Rosary with Me videos in the future. And I know that can also be helpful to actually hear somebody, usually put headphones in, hear someone saying the prayers, that also helped me to memorize them while I was praying it. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really hope this video was helpful for you. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.